Hi, my name Hi, is Nivar. In summer, Rise Against completely surprised us with their new EP, Nowhere Generation 2. Now in autumn, you finally come on tour to us, to Germany. We are really looking forward to that and especially to hear and speak with you today. Tim, you guys had a lot to do this year. You could finally play festivals again and your new P Nowhere Generation 2 came out in summer and now also the tour and fall. How are you doing with it? How does it feel to finally be able to do everything again? Yeah, it's been a long time coming and we're just so excited to finally be back at it. Um, we were definitely chomping at the bit all those years. Um, so many of these songs, the Nowhere Generation album and the five songs ended up on Nowhere Generation 2. Those were things that they were like... Um, they were like presents that we bought for the world that we weren't able to give them, you know? So we just had to hold on to them for way too long. So we couldn't wait to, um, finally, uh, share them with people and, um, and finally get back on the road. So we've missed it. We've missed Germany. Um, we've missed playing shows there. And so we can't wait to get back there, uh, in November, looking forward to it. And how do you perceive the audience? How does it feel to play live again after these two years with COVID? Yeah, there's like a there's like a new electricity in the air. You know what I mean? There's a new energy, yeah. like um, because not only are we excited to be back on stage, but people are excited to be seeing live music again. There's like this different appreciation for it. Um, we live so much of our lives in this, uh, in this digital world. <laughs> and so it's hard to like, it's hard to, um, like overstate how important it is for like a real life, um, activity, like a live show, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I feel like people are appreciating that kind of thing that, uh, like the digital world can't recreate a live show. You need like a, you need a live show to be a live show. And I mean, it's uh, a little bit like everyone now knows that that isn't, um, of course, that we can uh, enjoy something like a concert. It's, um, yeah, it became more special for us. Is yeah. It? And I, yeah. I see that, like, I see that in the faces of the people in our audience. I see it every night. I uh, hear it in their voices. You can tell that people are enjoying your show, but they're also experiencing something else that almost <laughs> has nothing to do with your band. It's just them finally out and with their friends and that community. Yeah. And there's every night this year, that's been somebody in the audience that is coming to uh, the first show they've been to in a long time. And for really young people, it might be their first show ever. You know, they had to wait these two years, you know, and they may yeah. have, their lives could have changed in that time. They got into different music and they've just been waiting to see it live. And so I try to keep that in mind when we walk onto the stage to kind of like be respectful that everybody's having their own experience. Especially for teenagers, maybe. Mm -hmm, absolutely. You will come for seven concerts to us, uh, to Germany. Can we look forward to some surprises at the concerts? Um, I hope so. Yeah, we're working on it right now. Um, we're starting to figure out what songs we want to play, what we want to do. Um, we'll definitely have, we're gonna, we were just playing festivals in Germany um, over the summer, like Hurricane and Southside. And so we're definitely going to do something different than that. It'll be a different show. Uh, so people who saw us at those festivals, um, what they'll see in November is something totally different. Is there one thing you would say that is uh, special or typical about the German audience? Mm, the enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, yeah, they, definitely. It's loud. It's enthusiastic. Germany has been so committed to our band and, and dedicated and loyal to our band in a way that few other countries are. Um, Germany has always just really appreciated us uh throughout the years um, um and we've created a really special connection with the country and so it's something that we think about whenever we do anything we think about germany the opening acts in germany are the story so far from california and especially the german punk rock band zedoska how did you get those two did you choose them or yeah so 
we if you see rise against playing a show we probably chose all the bands we're playing with you know unless it's like a festival um and so yeah the stories so far are a band that has been on our radar for a while and we've been looking for a chance to uh bring them out and then um yeah the opener was just a list of bands we li went listened to and that one was like one of the coolest bands that we heard and we thought this will be a great a great um band to bring on, on the road and i hope that they have fun i hope that our audience gets turned on to some cool music that is more regional let's talk about the, the next year uh, what's coming up what's planned can we look forward to some new music well we're always working on new music uh we're always uh writing new songs and so rise against album number 10 is something that you know we're thinking about um uh don't hold your breath nothing too soon uh but <laughs> it's something that's definitely on our mind next year we're doing uh Lollapalooza, south america um hopefully great. getting to some more shows and yeah we're looking forward to that one um we're doing a festival in florida um we are going to australia with blink 182 in 2024 which will be our first time in australia um since pre-pandemic um hoping to come back to europe also this summer um and so yeah we still have we still have a pretty busy next year um but in between all of that we're definitely going to be working on uh new music for sure that sounds very great <laughs> yeah yeah we had uh These days, a funny story here in Germany, a colleague who was at a wedding and uh, there were Rise Against songs playing in piano version. Did you, do, did you do that at your wedding too? Or what songs would you use there? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I did not do that at my wedding, but uh, I have played Swing Life Away at two different friends' weddings uh, when they asked me to. Um, And it's funny as somebody was just sending me a video this weekend, there was a, a guitar player at the wedding just playing acoustic music and they were playing Sling Life Away. And so she started filming him playing, but it was too late because he was finishing the song. And so she made him play it again oh, no. <laughs> so, so she could film it and then send it to me. So um, it is funny. It's like that song has had a really cool lifespan um, and to see it pop up in different places is always is always pretty fun. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Finally, do you feel like playing a little game? Uh, let's do I it. For sure. Nothing but promised. I'm okay. going okay. to give you one sentence. It's incomplete and you have to finish it. Thank okay. you. Okay, yeah. let's start. At concerts, we do not like to give up. Oh, at concerts, we do not like to give up. Um, oh, man. Well, we not like to give up. You mean like during the live show? Yes. Like, or just anywhere? Um, anywhere or during the live shows. Yeah, we don't like to give up any any time we want to play as many songs as we can play in the time that we're given that's a very good answer i secretly dream that oh wow i secretly dream that rise against plays more shows in germany oh yeah <laughs> i admit that i admit that rise against um has been a band for a long time but we still have new tricks up our sleeves the last time i cried was oh the last time i cried was probably when my daughters were born and then when they became teenagers again <laughs> very proud dad <laughs> yeah, yeah. right right now i would like to be right now i'd like to be um back on tour i'm ready to get back on the road and play some shows if there's one song i'm most looking forward to now in the upcoming concert it's mm, if there's one song i look forward to it'll be the songs that we didn't play last summer and songs that uh, which i'm not going to give away yet so but those are the songs i'm looking forward to okay my craziest experience with a groupie was 
Oh, the craziest experience with a groupie was, I think whenever somebody gives us um, something to sign there, sometimes it's, it's very usual things, but somebody once gave us um, like their leg because they lost their leg, so they had a artificial leg and they wanted us to sign that. Oh <laughs> that my was, dear. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was like, okay, I haven't signed this yet. Why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Tim, thank you so much for joining in the fun. All right. Bye bye. Cool. Bye. Take care.